everybody! So today I'm going to be doing a review on Chocola acrylic paint. Um, they reached out to me a few weeks ago and asked me if I would do a review and I said yes. So they sent me this um, 32 different colors. Um, on the back it's kind of cool. It has all the colors and it also shows the pigment codes um the light fastness of each color and how good each color covers so that's kind of handy to have um so i'm super excited to try this so i'm just going to go ahead and get started Okay, everybody, so the first step is the mixing of the paint. Now, for those of you that don't need to see that, you can go ahead and skip forward because I am going to be doing a painting. Um, so I've got my mixer. I've got my um, little, I call it a little magnetic pill. I keep forgetting the technical term, um, but that's what we're going to go with today. And I actually did put a little bit of my pouring medium in a beaker and measure. I put 30 milliliters. I'm going to try to do the uh, mixing and give you some amounts because normally I'm not a big mixer. So I'm going to start in my um, mixer here. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it going kind of low, low, I guess, if you will. And then I'm just going to pour in a little bit of the pouring medium, which my pouring medium is Liquitex pouring medium Floetrol and water. All right, so you can kind of see the consistency of it. It's thicker than craft paint, but not quite um, more of a medium body. And then I'm going to kind of turn it up a little bit as I go. And I'm going to make the whole tube, guys. So I'm going to put which is each tube is um, 0.22 milliliters. All right. Okay. So all that is in there. You can see it's thinning it up pretty good. I'm going to add a little bit more pouring medium, kind of slow. You can kind of see that. All right. Now sometimes moving it around, so you can definitely see that it's it's spinning it. Okay, turn it up some more. Yeah, it's spinning the cup too. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut it off. And then I'm going to give it a, a stir with my stick just so I can check the consistency. And now for me, that's a little, uh, it's a, it's a little thick, All right? So I'm going to turn it back on, get it going pretty good. And I'm going to add a little bit more pouring medium. Oh, hold on, it's moving around quite a bit there. Okay. going pretty good. There we go. And sometimes moving this around kind of helps shift it and helps stir it up a little because sometimes the pouring medium gets stuck on the side of the, the cup there, the wall there. All right, so shut that off. That seems pretty good. Really, really good. Now, 
Everybody is different on their consistencies, but this actually seems pretty good. It's it's going right off the stick. And when I when I pick it up, it's like got um, just a, a, a pause and then it drips. So that's pretty good. So it's pretty much one part paint to one part pouring medium. So that's pretty good, one to one. That's not bad at all. Okay, so I'm working on an 11 by 14 canvas and I'm just going to do a simple flip cup for this review. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started putting the paint in the cup. I mean, it dried nice and smooth. The colors look really, really pretty. Well, I chose a good, you know, combination of colors, which does help, but um, the colors themselves individually were nice and vibrant. Um, the pigments were great. It got some cells in there. Um, so, I mean, overall, I think it's, it's, a, it's worth the money. It's a cheaper, cheaper paint, but not cheap quality. Um, So yeah, it dried nice. The finish is really nice as well. It's not a dull finish, mm -hmm. which could contribute to the Liquitex that I used uh, in there. Um, so that would depend on your pouring medium you use. But overall, I think it's a, it's a nice paint. I really do. So for those of you that watched the mixing portion of the video, um, the paint mixed up very nice. I would compare it to um, maybe a, a softer, maybe to a medium body paint, um, Arteza tubes, um, pretty much the same consistency. I mixed it using my magnetic stirrer with the stir bar, um, which is, the link to that is in my description. It is a great um, thing to have. If you have sore wrists or hands like I do, um, it is probably an essential thing that you should have. Thank you to my husband for finding it for me. And again, the link is in the description if you're interested in that. So I had some leftover paint and I did a flip cup the first time and I wanted to try a different technique. And I love a good ring pour. So I thought I would try this paint to see how the lines stand up, if I could get some nice defined lines. So roll the bonus footage. <laughs> 